Hi, YouTube. I've already taken the first shot on the first round of CC. I don't know if I'm uploading this yet, but I might. So, here we are. First hole is very straightforward, so uh, there's not a lot I really need to introduce here. I'm just going to take you live into the round. I might upload this later. Who knows? We'll see. But uh, let's get out of practice swing. I'll cut out some of the practice swings, and if I talk too much to chat or something, I'll talk that out. But... This is my first day back to playing 2K in like a month, so... Let's see. Shouldn't record my music, so I should be good on that front. But let's send it. We have a pretty simple par 3. Par 5, rather. Um, play it short and just let it run. Just make sure you don't land, like, right here. Alright, so... If you land here, you're dead. So just try to get it landed on the green and let it run out. If you put the more loft you can put on it, the better. But obviously, don't over loft it. Just don't over loft it. 156 green, so it's not the slowest, not the fastest. It's on fast, right? 156 is one above fast. But you've probably you've seen you've seen where it can get in this game. Oh, that's so cruel. So that's what happens when you baby a putt. All right, hole two. I need to turn down my music. Or just turn it down in my headset. I'm a punk. Just get better if you respawn. We're saying it true. So, 113. Mine down 11. So we're looking at around like 110 or so. To the pin. With 7 miles per hour wind in the face on medium winds. It's probably going to play about 8 or 9 yards. You could say roughly. Um... So we're going to go like 117, 118. So we have the club for it right now. So I'm just going to put a touch aloft. Maybe see if I can land it a little short of the hole. Oh, that's a bad slow. So my tempo hasn't been the best today. So you're going to see a lot of up and down tempos. But when you don't play for a month, that's what happens. So here we're just going to aim edge of the cup. If it breaks more than that, well, we got unlucky, but... There's only a tiny foot lie, and you're just hoping it stays up. And there, we got lucky, it just barely stays up. <laughs> well, go play with Map Collector's Ghost on PC. If you're on PC, if you want a, a good guide for how to play this week on this course, and you need somebody holding your hand there. If you just want to watch the tutorial, that's what you're here for, then enjoy. But uh, if you're a if you're not a plat player, uh, don't feel bad about not shooting minus sixty seven. That's like a top twenty plat player level score, not a CC player score. All right, so we have a downhill lie here, with making it go to the right as well. So the wind, like this wind, is not going to play as much because of the slope. So keep that in mind. It will play a little bit, but it doesn't play as much back to the left. And especially since I shank it, it's basically going to go straight. Maybe I aim slightly to the right, but... Let's see. I always like to land it below the hole, right? So if we're a little short here and we end up like 9, 10 feet away from the hole, I'm fine with that. So let's, let's play that. Let's play it a little less. Plopped it into the air a little bit more because of the wind at our back and the downhill lie. We'd, we'd rather be short. Self Provo text. Map Collector also streams on Twitch. So twitch.tv slash map collector. It doesn't really play like TGC rounds though on it though. So again, I'm struggling with my tempo, but here in this case, we're off the green. We can kind of play for a putt because there's not a ton of break. We're just going to make sure you add, like, if you play off the fairway, pay attention. You're on the fairway, it plays 95 to 96% lie. And it has to travel some ways over the fairway. You need to add power, okay? Make sure you add power if you are going to do something like this. I might be adding too much here, but I'd rather miss it high and too much power than to miss it low or too little power. 
Ah, see. A little too much power there, but that's kind of what I'm going for anyways. Like, when I putt, I'm trying to be three, four feet past the hole. Um, because I want to give it a chance always. I never want to do that. And and if you die it into the hole, sometimes you might be short of the hole. Um, and sometimes it breaks like a crazy amount below the hole. Um, if you, if you hit it right at the hole trying to die it in. So that's my play style. You might prefer to play it, die it into the hole or something. And thus you play a lot more break. Um, but it's a play style difference, right? Some people like to hit theirs with a lot of power and some people don't. So it's a, it's a putting style thing. Um, but do expect you need to add a little bit of power because you have 95 to 96% lie off the fairway. All right, so we have a little bit of a tougher hole here. This is the second straight hole where the pin is three yards away from the edge of the green. Um, which means if you miss the right, it's going to be such a short chip, you're going to have to putt it from off the green unless you're, like, way down here. So keep that in mind. Like, chipping is always going to be really hard. So, like, you're going to want to land somewhere in this area instead. Try to box out this quadrant. But if you do, look at what you have to deal with. Right? If you fast, it's going to go off to the left. If you're short, it's coming down here. This is a tough hole. Your goal is probably to land like somewhere around from here to here. Right? One yard, two yards in front of the hole to about two to three yards past the hole is your kind of landing zone. Um, because if you land here with a wedge, it's just going to come back down. If you land a little long... This might come down too. And so that would be a lot better for it to come down here. So make sure you get it long enough. You get it long enough here. Seven, five. We're looking at like four or five yards off. So this is looking like a very good distance. So let's do it. Ah, the fast. So our tempo is just really off right now. We're still adjusting back to the game. And so we just have to live with it and just figure out how to how to fix that slowly, which we'll get there. A lot of break at the start. It does stop breaking, but we have to give it a lot of respect at the start. Fantastic. For me, I think I make that like 10, 20 percent, like 20 percent of the time, I would say. Um, so to sink that is a really good feeling. It's always feeling good when you can get those putts. All right. So if you have more wind at your back than four miles per hour in one of the rounds, you can kind of go for this. If you're a really aggressive player and like to overpower with your, with a hundred power driver, you can, you can overpower this and it'll get close to the green. Uh, I am not somebody who tends to overpower. So you have to think risk reward. If you miss tempo really badly, you're off in these bushes and it's going to be a tough one to get up and down because look at the look at the green. It's sloping away if you're on the left side, it's sloping away. So stopping the ball from 30, 40 yards away, it's going to be tough. So make your decision. Um I'm going to show the safe play. I'm going to show you the layup option. Make it easy for you all. So you can make a good decision. So you're looking at 250. Is roughly where you want to be. So let's get up here. It's an uphill shot. So we just send it. We know we won't get too close. And we're 100 yards away. So perfect distance like I said. Yeah, the, the football manager. It's so funny. You celebrate like crazy and it's like not real. Oh, that's a brutal one. So wind doesn't pick that up as much and I slowed it. So big mistake there, but let's try to recover. So let's not aim too high because we messed a putt up from that from aiming too high earlier. Perfect. That's an easy putt. Like I said, being below the hole, a little more comfortable than being above the hole and trying to putt downhill or sideways. I 
I've made a career here on Twitch make winning fake imaginary trophies, so. I have Masters win to my name here, technically. That's as fake as it gets. Just get this up here. Do not be short. Do not be short here. If you need to aim more of the middle of the green, go ahead. Do not be short here. Look at how severe this is if you're down here. There's a good chance it even like doesn't stop in the rough. It, there's a good chance it just rolls into this bunker. And good luck. Look at the look at the look at the board, right? If you're down here, you have a 25 yard splash up like what like 15 20 feet yeah good luck with that so uh do not be short on this hole just get it close th as close as you dare to the edge but i even de-lofted and played it safe here so don't tempt fate don't tempt fate You can say I know only one thing. <laughs> That'll show your wife. Yeah, I'm willing to spend money on this. Deal with it, woman. There's a tree in the middle of the fairway. Try not to be on the left side, I guess. But you shouldn't have any problems not avoiding that tree, alright? So don't worry too much. You have a very long second shot uphill. If you're taking a hybrid, remember like a hybrid, your three iron, your three wood, whatever club you got going uphill with wind at your back, even as little as four miles per hour is still going to make it kick really far. So you're going to have to land it like way back here, like somewhere like here ish or so to get this to s bounce really far. It'll bounce like five, six yards forward and then roll out quite a bit then it turns downhill here so you need to make sure it's slowly starting to slow down as it gets up here so you're looking at landing towards the front of the green and if we don't end up getting to this slope well at least you'll have like a 20 25 footer that has a chance of holding up whereas if you go long here as you can see it runs off very quickly you don't really want to be down here chipping and praying you can get a good chip because it looks like it'll run into the rough. So just FYI. I took some distance off with shot shaping. Uh, unfortunately hung out to the right really or to the left really badly so unlucky there but i'll take it we're gonna put a lot of spin on this to make sure it doesn't go down we do not want this to go off the green so put the spin on if you end up up here looks good oh just wiggled to the to the left a little bit. Had a chance of holding that, I won't. So as you can see, that distance was really good though. We had the right distance. The the aim was not good, but the distance was good. The reason why the aim wasn't that good? Big slope at our feet. And when you have the tailwind when you're trying to fade it or draw it, right? It doesn't want to come back as much. So even a little bit of tailwind, it doesn't want to come back as much. And we're going uphill. Whereas if we were going downhill or neutral level, it would have come back to the right a couple more yards. And it would have been on the green. But when you're going up the hill and you shot shape, you got to remember that the, the shape doesn't complete. Um, so that's a big problem. All right. A par four that's drivable. This one's tricky. You got to be willing to know like what your club can do in the wind here. So we're looking at like 274. We're going to hit it 101 or 102 off the tee. So we can we can assume it's playing like 268, but then the wind's going to play a lot. So we're looking at like 275, 276, 277, I don't know, somewhere like 280 or so maybe at most. So you need to be willing to figure out like where are you going to land? You have to clear this bunker. You don't want to be in this bunker for your second shot. Um, 
And if you get it far enough up here, you have a slope back here to play for. So kind of aim for middle of the green here. Aim to use the slope. Uh, don't flirt with the left because, again, same deal. And being on the right side, not as bad. Not as bad because you're going back up the hill. So just don't be on the left. Don't be short. Don't accidentally take driver like I almost did. Ah, I fasted it. So now we are to the left. That would have been a really good shot. But we're just going to hope now that this doesn't go in a weird spot. Stay on the fairway right there is perfect. So we got lucky. We got lucky. If this touches the green, I can tell you what this does if it touches the green. So if it had touched the green, it would have gotten more speed. And then it would have gone down here. And it would have kept going. So we got away with that a little bit. Big slope. We're going to trust our shank. We're going to trust that we get a decent tempo here. Ah, too fast. Might have been good with the perfect, but we're happy with that. <laughs> All right. A long par four. Uh, be careful. This is uphill, so like you shouldn't reach the edge of the green of this fairway. But do keep in mind if you have more wind at your back that you might reach the end of the fairway. So I'm actually not going to hit 100% here. I'm going to hit 94 and be happy with that because I do not want to get it to the rough. So just keep it in mind. Play it a little safer there. Pretty flat fair, pretty flat green here. You have a slope to play here and slope to play here to keep your ball from going too far. So this is a very straightforward shot. If you hit your tempo, you're probably going to land somewhere in here and run it up to the hole. So not complicated, but, you know, do keep in mind like... Uh, to, that your tempo here is going to need to be imp the most important thing. I'm going to give it some forward. Some D-loft. Give it a little little touch of distance and roll out here is the goal. Oh, fast. But we're still good because we have that slope on the left. We aimed in a really good place. Hey, Stephen J. Good to hear. Oh, and we almost hold it out. Like I said, it run, ran up. Ran up, and it was almost spectacular. Yeah, that's my goal with these playthroughs and, talk, and how I talk through them, is to like help people and maybe unlock something in their mind on how to approach golf the way I do. I'm going to try carrying this bunker. I, this is a moderate risk you don't need to take, but it is downhill. If you, As you can see, it's down 19. And if we like scroll down to here and then like zoom in, you can see like, oh, it's uphill at the pin. So this is like down like at least 23, 24 feet downhill, right? So you should be able to carry this bunker. But it is risky. I'm adding backspin to get me extra distance. Again, risky, not necessary. I'm going to go for it though. And show you like the benefits sometimes of taking those those difficult risks, right? You clear the bunker and now you have such a short shot in. This is beautiful, right? This is what you want. I could just take this lob wedge and be happy. I'm going to put a little loft on it because I have a downhill lie at my feet. Uh, we're so fast right now, but... At least we're not slowing everything. I'd rather fast than slows all the time. Like I said, day one of coming back to the game, my tempo is going to be all over the place. I'm not taking any practice swings because I'm trying to make this a clean cut recording for everybody. But as you can see, we're not completely on yet. What up, Rundown? Good to see you. We're back a little bit. A little bit. I'm not going to promise we're back permanently or for good. But I do want to play this game again like one to two times a week and have a good time. So here, downhill slope. So you're going to need to try to land this a little bit shorter than you expect. If you land somewhere around here on the right side, it's going to roll out and go to the left. That's what you want. 
Um, if you end up on the left side and it rolls out to the left, you're still going to have a pretty good second shot, but it will be downhill and with some break. So keep that in mind. Do, if you want, you can play this to roll out, get to the hole, and go past the hole. Because at least from here, you'll have a flat putt. Whereas if you're short and you end up very short, you're going to have to deal with this, with this uh, downhill putt. So you have a slope to help you bring it back to left, kind of aim to be in this area and let it roll out a little bit. So downhill, 78 or so, 177. Playing like 175 to the pin, maybe 176, 175, 177-ish, depending on where the wind ends up. Um, so we're going to loft it quite a bit. And see what I can do here. If I'm back, he's back. Is what I'll say. It's Steven. If I'm back, Lindsay will probably come back. Oh! That's a live, a live CC walkthrough guide on the CC Society. Getting a hole in one doing exactly what I told you to do. Oh, isn't that a beauty? Oh, isn't that a beauty? Ross, good to see you. Welcome on in. What a beautiful shot right there. Holy. Welcome back, Kara. First day back, getting my hole in one. I am expecting like a hundred dollars gifted to me for doing that. Thank you. Thank you. PayPal is in my Twitch stream info. Thank you, everybody. Kek W. No, I don't expect money for that. That was fun, though. All right. So here again, downhill, but you got a wedge in hand. Wedge in hand, right? It's going to stop even with a downhill slope unless it was like yellow or red or orange, right? So I'm going to de-loft a little bit, get it up here, cut through the wind a bit, and then let it bounce once and it will stop. Thank you, map, for the biddies. I'm doing well, we're awesome, doing well. Just recording the CC guide for the week. A little later than I want to, but... This is the first day I felt comfortable coming back to streaming and playing this game again, so... We're back, baby! Hopefully for good. But I, I expect my, my mental health for the next year or two years is gonna be tough. Until I grind where I wanna be. There's a lot going on in life. But I'm grinding for it. I'm gonna do my best. So, this is a risky hole. As you can see, it's uphill. And if you look here, you can go down. You can tell this is a little uphill. So, you have to make the decision. Do you want to go over this? I can reach with 307. I'm almost sure. But if you hit this rock or you end up rolling up to it, your second shot is going to be a nightmare. So, you need to be really confident that you can reach this. Because this is uphill, definitely. So... Overpower a little or do something because you're going to need to make sure you get there. I'm going to show you straight up how far we can go. I'm going to overpower a little 104. The slow is going to take me way to the right and we easily clear. We would have been fine. But do keep that in mind. As you can see, we're still uphill though. Little unlucky shot though. I slowed that way too much. We have a high lie percentage, so I'm going to play a risky shot here. A mm, little slow. I hope it gets up there. It does, just barely. Ooh, got lucky, got lucky. Beautiful. One heck of a recovery, and we are minus 13 through 13, baby.
Hey, Eddie. Good, good, good to see you. Hey, me too, Eddie. I, I've had a mental health break for a little while, too. So, I appreciate you. Uh, this is my first stream in, like, a week and a half, so... We're doing the CC walkthrough right now, so I am going to be talking and doing all that, but this will be fun. So, downhill, down into the wind. Uh, the wind, because we're playing on fairly low winds, isn't going to impact your ball as much as, like, let's say if you have 12 mile per hour winds here, the wind's going to play a lot more than you expect to when you're going down into the downhill. It, like, cancels out a lot of the elevation when you have a lot of wind in your face. But with 4 miles per hour, we can be safe. We know that, you know, we're going to gain, like, 10, 11, 12 yards, depending on, like, if you hit a 101, 102. Um, so that's 212. Wind in our face, like, 218, 219, 220. So I want to land this short because it's a 4-iron. There is downhill towards the hole, too. So we need to land this still, like, 6, 7 yards short for this to possibly be good. So we're going to take off a lot here and then trust in our read. Oh, okay, we're good. I held down a little too long, so it made my perfect a fast but this is still a perfect effectively come on and that folks is how you play a hole we have played two par threes immaculately immaculately one a hole of one and one three feet away that is beautiful slow snap good to see you good to see you So this one you will probably not hold on the green no matter what so this is about risk reward so the ideal spot to land this right ideally you would land it like just above this bunker in the rough to slow your ball down hopefully you hit the lip of the bunker like just above the lip of the bunker so it hits the rough it trickles over the rough and slowly descends onto the green the issue is you have a downhill shot that means you're getting more distance from your drive. It's going to be very, very, very difficult to get this to land softly. So, you can go for that play where you kind of go for this bunker and try your best. Because I think driving the green and then it's likely going to, if you don't hit anything, if it lands on the green, it probably just rolls out. And pr maybe even goes off the green down here uh, to the left more over over further down the, the towards the pin. Right. And then you have an uphill bunker shot. I would rather risk this downhill bunker shot. This should be a little bit easier to stop the ball. It's not easy, but it'll be slightly easier. So this is the play I'm going to go for. It's that play I was just talking to you about. Play it a little bit short and see if I can use the rough to kind of stop this ball. This is very difficult, but let's go for it. Oh, and then I hit a very slow. So my tempo is really bad. So that happens sometimes. It's very unfortunate that I can't show you all what I wanted to do, but you live with what you get, right? Sometimes that happens. And then we hit a very fast almost. <laughs> well, at least I could show you why you don't want to be down here. So this is why you don't want to be down here. You have to get the distance right. You have to hope you get a decent lie. Because if you get a really bad lie, the trajectory is going to be much lower. Which means it's going to run out more. Um, and then getting the distance and the elevation right is very tough on a shot like this. And because you're going uphill, it's going to want to roll out more. So your goal is to get more loft on this ball to try to get it to stop. You can use a flop shot or a pitch shot as well here to get this ball to stop a little bit easier. So let's try a flop shot. I'm going to play it longer because we have an 82 to 89% line. So we're at least going to lose like 5 yards off of our club minimum uphill. Maybe on a flop it plays a little less, so maybe like a yard or two. So, 32, 33, we need to aim 32 or 33. 
And there we go. We have survived. So as you can see, there's a good example of how to survive a battle. All right. You got to be careful. You need to be patient. You need to think about all the variables when you're coming out of the sand like that. Think about the lie percentage. Think about how the ball reacts when it lands on the green. There, as you saw, it wants to bounce forward because it's uphill. And so that helped us determine we need to be short, but we need to still play this a little bit long, right? So here there's a bunker in the middle of the fairway. You do need to be careful of it. Uh, if you have a long enough club, as you can see, you can just clear it. But if you have a shorter driver, be careful. All right, big uphill again. I think we hit it as is if it lands like here we're hoping it just gets up i'm gonna add a little bit of forward spin just to see if we can get it to get up there if i aimed a little bit better it would have been closer to the pin but i am very happy with that that's exactly what i wanted to happen in terms of like how the physics worked out that's where I, what I wanted to happen. Bounce and roll up to the hole. Ah. Evil pin. Tough, tough if you're on the side of it like I was. No, I mean, I, I I accept friend requests from whoever wants to be my friend. So, of course. But, I am not on my PlayStation every night, so don't expect me to respond to much. Alright, so get into the fairway, and we're good. Par 5. Tough front pin, especially with we'll win at our back and uphill. You need to land this short and hope it bounces in a good way. It's one of those where you can't attack the pin directly, so you just have to live with what you get. In this scenario, I'm going to add distance to my club because the three iron can get a lot of benefit from using the, the right loft angle. I'm going to use that to add the distance I need here because this is playing like 241 after elevation and wind, 240, 239 maybe. Hopefully this just gets up there and stops, but I'm this is likely going to be off the green. Especially if I slow it. I think this is just going to miss. I'll take it though. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm happy being short there. That's why I kind of aimed using that club. Is that if I'm short, I'm pretty happy still. I'm going to add a little bit of spin to this. Not a lot. Mm, good read. Unfortunately, too fast. And let's get to minus 16, hopefully. Be happy with a good round. Uh, lay up, okay? I know this is going to be an uphill shot on your second shot. You don't want to be in the rough. I mean, you can be if you, if you prefer a pitch shot with a weird club, like a pitching wedge from closer, then go ahead, but... I'm going to take the hybrid. I'm going to be in the fairway. I'm going to be happy. I'm going to have a 100-yard shot here and be and be happy. Perfect. Pay attention to lie at your feet. Look at the win. Pay attention to how you shank the ball and go for it. And there we go. That's a round of CC Golf. So two, three pars, a beautiful hole in one, no eagles. Otherwise, I wanted an eagle or two, but I missed that first hole really badly. Um, So that was very unfortunate, but I'm very happy with that. So for my return video, I know this is a bit scuffed. It doesn't have the full intro like I usually do, but I hope you at least learn a little bit from watching my shots and my explanations. I hope to do more of these more casual walkthroughs maybe on stream sometimes i'll record them before but i want to get back to doing them um i took the break from 
Twitch. I took a break from golf. I needed a break. I needed a mental refresher. So it's been good and I'm in a much better place. Uh, still struggling with IRL stuff, but I am, uh, I'm not going to let it affect me as much. So thank you all for watching. Thank you all to my Twitch chat for keeping me company all e all evening, all afternoon and evening. And uh, I hope to see you all soon on YouTube's youtube.com slash at caracakes, I believe is my handle. If you are on YouTube, then come on by to my Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash caracakes. I tend to stream around two to three to four times a week, anywhere from two to four times a week. Um, we're going to be playing a mix of 2K golf, EA golf, and maybe sometimes some Gran Turismo or some other racing games. But until next time, I'll see you soon, YouTube. Love you guys. I mean it as always. Take care.